Hey, what's up everybody? Matt Day here, and today I want to show you how to create your very own WordPress site using HostGator Hosting. Now I'm going to show you how to get HostGator Hosting for your first month for only one penny. And let's go to the HostGator site right now. As you can see, I'm already here at the HostGator site. And now I personally use HostGator myself. I've been using them for over five years now. I've created at least 100 WordPress sites. I've never had a problem with any of my sites. They have top-notch support team. They have the live chat. They have the ticket system, or you can contact them by phone. They're available 24-7, 365 a year. Now, I've never had a problem getting contact with their support team. It's only ever taken me but a few minutes to get contact with somebody. They're very helpful, courteous, and um, really intelligent. Now, uh, another reason why I use HostGator is because they have competitive prices. They have some of the best prices for hosting available. As you can see, they have a 20% off coupon up here, starting at $3.96 a month. I'm going to explain more about that in a little bit. Now, I'm showing you how to get HostGator hosting today for the cheapest price for one penny. So, if unless you already have your own domain name, then skip this part. But let's get our domain name first. And now the reason why we're not getting it from HostGator because they do not have a coupon for their domain names. It's going to cost you $15 plus one penny for your hosting. You have to have a domain name. And um, this is what I usually do when I get a domain name and I want to get it cheap. All you got to do is Google cheap domain names. It'll take you to these links over here. Click on the GoDaddy 99 cent special. Once you're into GoDaddy, now you gotta look up to see if a Go, uh, domain name is available. You will also, if this is the first time with GoDaddy, you will also have to fill out all, you know, register and all that. I'm already registered, I'm already logged in. Now the reason why we're getting the domain name from GoDaddy is because they have, they always have a special 99 cents. And that's if you, you know, if you Google cheap domain names, I always find it there. Now, the year next year will be $15. The first year is 99 cents, so today will be 99 cents, and it'll jump up to $15 next year. Now, that $15 is the same price as HostGator domain names, and that's why we are doing this, because it's practically the same thing, but you can get the GoDaddy domain today for only 99 cents, where HostGator you'll be charged $15 today because they do not have, they don't give out discounts or coupons for their domain names. All right, so find your domain name at GoDaddy. Oh, another thing is uh, why we're not using GoDaddy hosting is because they're not known for their hosting. If you look up problems with uh, GoDaddy hosting problems, you'll find a lot of stuff. Um, I'm in the forums all the time. Nobody recommends GoDaddy hosting. Uh, they have... A lot of times they have slow servers where your site will be slow or a bad uptime so your site won't even be there. And then their support team is not, not as good as HostGator. So that's why we're using the GoDaddy for domain hosting. We're using HostGator. So find your domain. All right. I'm just showing you examples, so I just chose one real quick. All right. Now, now you go to this page and I'm going to pop this down to one year. And now, as you can see, your total price is going to be $1.17 for your domain name for one year. Okay. And then it's going to jump up to $15, which is a very good price. HostGator hosting, like I said, domains are $15 too. All right, now, once you get your domain name, now you need to pop over back to HostGator, okay? Now you need to choose your hosting plan. I'm just choosing the cheapest. I recommend baby plan because the baby plan, you're allowed to have unlimited domains, whereas the hatching plan, their cheapest, will only let you put one domain on it. And you can still, if you get baby plan today, you'll still be able to get it for one penny. 
All right, so I'm just showing you an example. I'm going through baby plan. Now, you see this coupon code down here? Snappy. That's their 20% off that they were talking about at the front of the website, HostGator site. It said 20% off. They automatically will throw in Snappy coupon. It takes off 20%. Now, that 20% won't be that much, though. I'm just going to show you. Um, let's make this one month. It's taking everything off the hosting add-ons. Now, if you scroll down, as you can see, took off a dollar ninety nine. Today, you'll be paying seven ninety six. All right, but now let's go back. Same thing. Now, let me show you these other better coupon codes for HostGator. One is. HG discount that would take off 994 the other one is HG discounts 25 that would take off 25 percent really depends on how big of hosting you're getting what package you're getting and how many months you're paying for so I'm going to show you the example of the HG discount real quick Oh, by the way, you need to put your domain name on the right. So where it says use an existing domain name. So after you get it from GoDaddy, go to the right of HostGator after you choose your hosting plan and enter your domain on the right. Now, I just entered HG discount for the coupon code. And let me show you what it looks like. I'm making it exactly the same as before. And boom. Your price with that HG discount coupon code, it took off $9.94, and your price today will be one penny for the first month. Now, for those of you who want to pay for more month, more than one month today, the more you pay, the more it'll take off your hosting. So consider that, and also, it's the other thing. Do you want to be billed for your hosting every single month? It can get annoying. I tried that when I first started and I made a mistake of doing that and then I changed it to, you know, 12 months. So I only get billed one time a year. But if you're doing it for the one penny today, then you got to use, you know, the one month. All right. Now, after you fill everything out on this page on HostGator, now you will be waiting for your email from HostGator. Now, your email is going to have your information to get into your control panel is which is where you need to go to set up your WordPress site and um, another thing your email from HostGator after you fill all this out they'll be sending you information about your name servers let me show you real quick I'm in my control panel right now which you will not be able to get into until after you change your name servers but your email from HostGator will have this right here if you look down here it says name servers right you have two of them you will have this information in your control um, in your email you have two name servers from HostGator you will need that information because once you get that information from the email from HostGator you need to go back to your GoDaddy and you need to log into your account choose domains launch it and this is where you need to add it at so if you saw if you got all that um, go into your GoDaddy account hit domains, launch it, find the domain that you bought from them, scroll down, and if you look down to your left, you'll see name servers right there. You need to click on this, because you need to click on the set name servers. Okay? And now name server one, name server two, you need to click down to right here on the bottom where it says I have specific name servers for my domains. Add the two um the two that go to uh hostgator sent you. I'm sorry. 
All right, the two name servers that HostGator sent you, and it mines right here. And then you click OK. All right, once it does that, this is connecting your domain name with your HostGator hosting. So then, once it does that, it may take a minute or two. Once you can get into your control panel, which your HostGator email will tell you, this is what it'll look like. Because once you uh, change your name server at GoDaddy, then you'll be able to soon after log into your HostGator control panel. And I'm in mine right now. Now, to set up the WordPress site, all you got to do is scroll all the way down, click on Fantastica Deluxe. You can also use Quick Install. They're both the same. If you saw that, they're both um, pretty much exactly the same. I just always, I'm used to using the Fantastic Deluxe. That's what they've had for a long time. They just recently added the Quick Install. They're both almost exactly the same though. So click on whatever, either one of those. Go to the left, choose WordPress. New installation. Okay. Now, this is where all you got to do is choose the domain you want to install WordPress on. This will be left empty. Choose your administrator name. This will be, you know, for your WordPress site. It could be whatever. Choose a password. Okay. And, um, then you just need to add an email that you want this information to send to that you want your WordPress, you know, information sent to and then your site name. None of that really matters too much except for your email. This is your email for your WordPress site. And then just quick, uh, click install WordPress and that will be about it. Then you just installed WordPress on your site. Now the way you know that WordPress was installed correctly on that your website is by this. It will look like this. This is a new domain I have. I just installed WordPress on it. This is what it'll look like. They automatically throw in this theme by default, okay? So if you see this, then you know you just installed WordPress on your site. Now, once you do that, you log in. You go down to the bottom right, Click login. Now this is the information I was telling you about in Fantast um, for you know the administrator access. This is the password and that. So you use that information. Use the username that you you used. Log in. And it's gonna look like this. Now if you want to change your theme, you just go to the right click themes they have these themes already in there or you can just do um, install themes you can find free themes or whatever you want to find there's there's thousands of them I mean there's a whole bunch okay all right you can change your theme like that then you control it over here now to do your first post you would hit posts it's going to say hello world. That means it's your first post because they automatically put that there. But edit. Change it to whatever. Update. and um, view the site. See, this is that's what I just typed in there. Boom, it shows you your first post right there. And that is how you can get HostGator hosting for one penny, a domain name for $1, and have your very own WordPress site set up by yourself all within a, a little time, within a few minutes. That's, you know, if everything goes well. 
and um, it's very simple steps. And once you do this, you'll be able to create unlimited sites, unlimited WordPress sites anytime you want. And uh, this is really important because now you, you have full control of your websites. You do not need to, you know, depend on anybody else or buy a cookie cutter site. And that is why I, I love showing people how easy it really is to create your very own WordPress site. Because I used to be intimidated myself. And um, once I found out how easy it was, and once I found HostGator where I had the one click install for WordPress, I, I was, <laughs> for someone who was a non techie, it made my life very easy. And I loved not being able, not having to depend on other people because I would, anytime I needed help, I'd have to hire someone or get help from someone. And you don't know if you can trust them. You don't know, you know if they're charging you at a fair price. Now you can do it all on your own. And thanks for watching my video. And till next time, have a good one.